What's going on YouTube? Giosno right here. So in today's video I have something magnificent to show you and I do believe that this is definitely going to blow your mind. Real Android has been released for the iPhone and it's now possible to run, as I said, real genuine Android on the iPhone. This is a project by Corellium and they posted just an hour ago, quote, introducing Project Sandcastle, Android for the iPhone. We're excited to see what the developer community builds from this foundation and we'd particularly like to thank the team behind CheckRain and Pongo OS for their support and assistance. And then they made this website available. It's Android for the iPhone. And yes, this is actual legit Android and not the old kind of Android that they used to achieve in the uh, beginning of the 2010. This is a legit new version of Android supporting the iPhone and currently it only works on the iPhone 7 but they are planning to support all the devices supported by Chikrain very soon. Now you can actually download this at this moment. You press the get the beta in here and you will be able to get the images with no problem. So you press download the Android build or download the Linux build. So basically this is how it works. And and of course there is a chart in here which allows you to see which devices are supported and how much. So you can see here that the iPhone 6 only has partial support and the best support is achieved for the moment on the iPhone 7, 7 Plus and even the iPod Touch 7 generation. Now you can see that the multi-touch for example works, display works, NAND works, USB, CPU and everything but the camera for example doesn't work on any of them for the moment, Bluetooth doesn't work for the moment and of course the GPU doesn't work for the moment so everything is basically rendered in software. So this is an ongoing project but the best part about it is that this is actually completely open source. The Corellium made this available on GitHub in here and everybody can contribute which is definitely beyond belief. Now the Checkrain team posted quote, thanks to the amazing work done by the Corellium's team it's now possible to run Android on iPhone natively on the just released Checkrain 0.9.8.1. Go try it out. And they say in here quote, this is completely non-invasive and should not damage the current iOS install at all. Plus the setup is very simple, try it out. So as they said in here, this is not going to interfere in any way with the uh, iOS installation. You don't have to basically lose your iOS to get Android. They can run side by side and there is no adverse effect for the iOS. Chris Wade also posted quote, this is the first publicly available version of the Android with 16k page support. We also built Signal for it and included it in the base image. The code is all up on our GitHub. So basically Chris Wade is part of the Corellium. He is the CDO of the Corellium. Now this is available in here, anybody can download it, you press download in here and you will be able to get the beta. But you should keep in mind that this only supports the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus at the moment, with more devices being supported in the future. But anyways, this is a huge step in the jailbreak community. But truth to be told, I'm no longer surprised anymore. So um, yeah, they actually managed to get something very important done, legitimate Android, and this is not emulated or simulated in any way. This is not running inside a virtual machine on the iPhone, this is not a jailbreak tweet that makes your phone look like Android. No, this is real actual Android with the actual Android kernel running on the iPhone, taking advantage of the hardware, booting on the iPhone and taking advantage of the iPhone. So this is actually something incredible and it's the first time this has ever been done in the modern history of the iPhone. The first time they did it, it was actually one of the Corellium team's members right now, but it was like a decade ago when they actually managed to get the Android on the first iPhone and of course the first iPod Touch running perfectly fine. It was the iDroid project. Well, after that, they completely abandoned the project and of course for the last decade, Decade, we didn't have any option to run real Android on newer devices. Well, apparently today things have changed and the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, the iPhone 8, iPhone 10 in the future, all of these will support it. Basically, they will be able to support the iPhone 10 all the way down to the iPhone 5S and all those will be able to have legitimate Android on them. And of course, if you have a 7 and 7 Plus, you are definitely able to run it at the moment in the beta. Definitely very, very interesting and I will definitely do a tutorial as soon as possible on how to install this. So thank you for watching, I am Geosnow and till next time, peace out.